Let's go ahead and paint a quirky squirrel. I'm Michelle Manriquez from Drop That Brush, and I want to help people who are non-artists become artists. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. The reference photo came from Cheryl Gilbert. I really liked the sh shadow. Uh, and it kind of looped in, the shadow looped into the body. And see, look at this. And I kind of drawn what I liked about it. It was really cool. But you know, when you look at squirrels, they're kind of boring as far as color. So I thought last week I did great. Today I'll go massively, massively colorful. <laughs> this is not your typical squirrel painting. I'm using color to map out my values. Let's talk about that. A light value, a medium value, and a dark value. And I'm going to use it using my colors. Light value areas would be yellow and orange. The mid value will be reds and pinks. The, the darks I'm using red, purples, and blues. And then the very, very dark. I'm gonna mix uh, my standard right now. It's currently my favorite. Something will be different later, I'm sure, but right now I'm using this weird blue, call it a blue, and a Rexide. Forget the very, very darks. Let's go paint. A funky squirrel. Let me show you what I'm looking for. This is one big shape. I'm gonna make it into one big shape. I'll leave that white. I leave that white. I leave that white except for the where it turns. So it's a different way of approaching it. It's using color values rather than um, there. I'm gonna start at the darks. If I can get this popped in immediately, yay me. So that's kind of my dark area. Now let's see, where do I want to put water? Because he has a cute little fluffy tail. All right, I'm going to start in the dark area. Come up and I'm going to, I'm going to flip it around so it goes that way. So I want them to be soft edges around where the white area is. That, isn't that pretty? That was not what I meant to do. <laughs> wow. Okay. Just right here. Okay. Now I'm going to flip it so it doesn't do that. Hello. So now this is a staining color. So it is how it is. I'm not going to freak out about it. I'm just going to have fun. And if it doesn't come out right, yeah. Won't be into my world. There's this portion up here that's actually dark. So I'm just going to throw that in and see how that works. I'm just going to bleed it in. As long as I don't touch it, it'll be fine. The minute I play touch it, then I'm going to have an issue. So I'm just going to... There's these little lines. Okay, I like that. I'm just going to let that go. Not sure what's going on there, but I'm not going to freak out about it. Okay, this is the lightest light, so I'm going to just be soft. I'll just bleed in whatever I've got there. He's going to be a little bushier than I thought. Our goal is not to make it perfect, it's to be have fun today. That's our goal, okay? You can do this, I know you can do this. Let's do a little splatter. 
going to get a slightly smaller brush. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, I have something floating around. I like that. I don't know why, but I like it. Now, I think I'm going to do the shadow. And I'm going to try to do it in one fell swoop, which will be, like, interesting. Here's the shadow. Goes up here, 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 over there, and over there. Okay, that's what I'm going to work on. I'm going to start from the top and work my way down. So I'm going to use those same three colors that I was using. Where does that shape go? It goes around the eye. All I'm doing is following the shapes. Okay, it actually goes here, huh? I'm just following the shape. That's all I'm doing. I'm going to throw some color in here of interest. And I'm going to leave it. And if I can't, I'll, we'll see what happens. I'm always interested in what's going to happen when I do things that I probably shouldn't do. Changing colors, making it interesting. This is not how I typically do it. I'm just, I just want to see how it works, if it works. If it doesn't come out, that's okay. I'm going to give it a little, like I'm in and out, in and out. Can you see where I'm just kind of moving it back and forth? I'm going to go in and out on this side too. So there is a dark that goes. <laughs> There's supposed to be an opening. I think I painted my opening. So we're going to leave a shape here. This attaches. Change color, making sure it's thick and juicy and interesting. And if it doesn't come out well, eh, we'll live with it. Or we'll say, oh, that wasn't a good idea. Yeah, that happens to me a lot. Now, this goes into this shape. This is not quite as dark, but pretty dark. So we're gonna go ahead and um, put color here. Change colors, make it interesting. Don't be boring. I think probably that should have been a little lighter, so I'm just gonna go boop, 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 boop. Good enough. I'm going back to the belly. a beautiful dark and I don't even think I got very dark when it dries this isn't gonna cut it oh I'm having fun you you understand this is before before I started doing this yeah this is how I normally paint I really like color and making it pretty and just having a good time go this way and I'm gonna pull it out just a little bit here or there so that there's not constant hard edges all right I still have to work so this is a little tricky because you got to do it at the same time you can't just you know do, 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 play 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 so I'm really moving so you get your big brush and really go for it <laughs> I really, really want it to be much more softer. Gonna take my brush, squeeze, and soften edges. Kinda like his hair is fluffier than it is. Ew, did I lose too much or do I like that? I'm debating. That was, that was a movement I wasn't expecting. And um, do I like it? That's my question. Just leave that just how it is. Fluffy. <laughs> C 
see this, see how this looks versus that, really different. So it depends upon what you're looking for. I like things that are, for animals in particular, I would prefer to have something that's a little fluffy. I can always come up and harden these edges. Okay, but what I can't do is I can't um, soften it as easy. And I'm still, okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like the hard edge of that, but I'm just gonna go for it. We're gonna see how it comes. And you know what? It's okay just to play. Playing is good for all of us. looking kind of wild. I will get something hate it and then I have to look at it and I go oh it's not that bad sometimes okay, I'm following a little lines there's certain lines and then I'm just gonna mix in color and let them decide what it wants to do And I want to do something back with this again. So I'm going to put water. And this time I'm going to put water all over it. So I went down to a very thick um, uh, that pretty, pretty blue that I love now. I've decided it is my, my favorite blue and it just really pops stuff. And you can see all of that movement, I'm kind of holding it, because I don't want it, I don't know if you can, I hope you can see this. I'm trying to keep it kind of up so it doesn't just scoot right in there. I want some movements.
Okay, there must have been no water. Can you see that there's been no water? It's kind of obvious, huh? So let me do this. Boop. I kind of like that. That gives it a movement that goes into, what do you think about that? You know, sometimes I just mess around and I find out fun things. Do you, maybe I want to really ex do that on purpose. Let's see, let's see, how can I do this? Can I tell it if I if I just add some water? Will it kind of just do this for me? Because I want it to. <laughs> Let's just play. Okay, that was kind of cool. I'm gonna let that actual dry just like it is because I'm concerned that if I actually um, try to do blow dry with it, I'll make a mess. So what I'm gonna do is just to get something on the bottom. And for that, I'm just using a, um, a very boring gray color. Nothing important because I don't want it to, you know, say stuff to you. That good enough? Is that boring? mind right there and I'm, I'm gonna melt it right on in I kind of want it to uh, I don't want it to be a real hard line so I'm going to allow this to go right in over it this I got a problem I'm either gonna have to I think I'm, let's try to do what we did last time why not so what I'm gonna do is add water and kind of it out. I want you to be able to really see that shadow, but I also don't want the shadow to be so important. So I'm going to let some of this just kind of blend in itself. I'm going to soften this area. And I'm just going to do those little line marks. I think I want a thick. I'm going to bring this down. Okay, now I'm just messing around because I think I probably blew it totally. So why not? You know, sometimes, not always, but sometimes I just mess around kind of feel my way what i want there's parts i like about it some i don't that's okay you know this is part of watercolor man sometimes but i was being brave good bad or ugly it will happen oh those were his feet were supposed to be shoot i forgot oh i do love this though do you love that it does something for me. You know, it's so weird. You know, you'll find one part that you love and everything else is giving you grief. All right. I did not get as dark as I should have. That's part of my problem. And let's just go ins and outs and ins and outs just to imply that there is some kind of hair there. If I put yellow on top of that, it's going to make it gray. So, and I'm keeping everything very vi vi vibrant. So, I think I'm going to use a little red. Because this looks like it's almost white. Which, yeah, I kind of got rid of that, didn't I? Oh, well.
not thrilled with this. There was things, you know how you paint and sometimes things look really perfect and some things you like and other things you don't like. I've decided to come back through and finish this and I'm going to show it to you. It's okay to show you something that didn't come out as perfect as I wanted. That sucks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean some up things. I'm going to show you um, that it's okay to blow it a little bit. The two things that I really didn't like is I missed my white here, but I loved how that came out. It was so cool. Um, and I think I got a little way too overzealous on this eye. So I'm gonna fix some of this. I just want you to see it. And I looked at the shape, I lost my shape. And so I'm just sitting over here, cleaning it up. Just that made a difference on the eye. I just, I just feel that I kind of got too, uh, persnickety and kind of messed it up. Okay, I like that better already. Sometimes you just gotta come back through and do a little bit of cleaning um, because you got too crazy. Does that happen to you guys? Now I can see that the line work for the ear is cut wrong and so I'm gonna fix that. And it's a drawing issue. Most of these were a drawing issue. So this looked weird to me, and I felt that this should have been a little lighter. I don't want you to be too rough with the paper. So you always do as little amount as you can. I want to tell you is get in and out as quickly as you can. Have a list of exactly what you want to fix. Get in of it and get back out of it. And that is probably one of my best things I would tell you. Now I'm going to see what things should be helpful. So there's a line here. It's just a simple line, but I didn't put it in. Okay, and I'm gonna write that line down. This shape of the ear goes here and it goes here. See, I missed quite a bit of that. I'm gonna simplify his nose. I feel that his nose got too picky. And there was things, there was these little lines and I was trying to, to follow the picture and yeah. I know what a, a, a nose should look like <laughs> and I should have just kind of done with that um, and not been so, you know, this is how it must be. And then this kind of goes over here. Okay, check that out. So I think that was part of the issue. It was definitely a drawing issue. And you know what? That happens. There's this little line work and I was concerned about the lines and really the lines weren't important. I should have not worried about it. painting did not come out quite what I wanted. Does that ever happen to you where I look at something and you think, oh, that was not what I wanted at all. So I went back, did a little more work, basically pulling out some lighter colors, 
uh, darking a few areas. And I said, you know what? I'm going to show you this video, how I fixed it, and that it's okay to show you something that's not my favorite video. And you know what? It kind of grew on me over the time. I, you know, I don't know if that ever happens to you, but sometimes you paint it and you go, oh my, don't like that. So you put it away, you look at it, and then like three weeks later, you think, that wasn't that bad. Does that happen to you? I went back, painted what was bothering me. I used it real quick because I don't want to just be picky, picky, picky with a little tiny brush. I just got in there, fixed it, and so here we go. I don't know, not my favorite one, but kind of fun. And that's what I wanted to do is I want to have fun with color. What do you think? Did it come out? So I don't know about you, but every painting is a learning experience. And I hope you learn some things from this. I want you to paint it with me. I want to see your take on color on this. So please paint with along with me. In the description below, there will be a value study, the picture, and the drawing when you out. Messing around happens to me sometimes. Have to step back and look. Then when you don't know what to do, drop that brush. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. You have a wonderful week. Bye.